Hi guys, this is Matthias, and I'm coming at you here with my first ever HTZ Vive video. And no, I did not get an H HTZ Vive myself. This is actually recorded at a friend's place, and now I'm back at home after spending a couple of days there. And among playing HTZ Vive, we've been drinking a little bit of beer and whiskey, and just generally had a great time. So now the game that you see me playing here is called Space Pirates. And basically what you need to do in this game is to shoot these flying orbs here. You also of course have to avoid being shot by them. Now in this particular game there are two different ways that you can avoid being hit by these flying orbs. One of them is by using this shield that you see me holding with my left controller. But you can also of course move out of the way and that way dodge the incoming projectiles. In this video you'll see me do a little bit of both. And later on here I'm going to show you how I'm using a different fire mode. And I'm going to be using two guns rather than one gun and one shield. And one of the things that I want to point out with this upload is that a YouTube video such as this does not do HTC Vive justice. The experience you will get from playing this game while wearing the HTC Vive headset is something that is very very different from playing games, uh, you know, the normal way so to speak, sitting in front of a monitor. Now if you haven't tried out any of these uh, 3D platforms, then uh, it is something that I definitely yes. do recommend you to do if you get a chance okay. to do so. But if you're looking for advice as to whether or not this is worth buying, then I'm sorry to say I really can't give you that kind of advice. First and foremost, this is something that is rather new and I believe also rather expensive, or generally speaking rather expensive. On top of that it seems to require a quite good computer. Now here, I don't really know what you need in order to run this properly, but uh, the computer that I'm playing on here, or the computer that this HTC Vive is connected to, is basically top of the line. Whether or not this is required, or whether or not you're going to get lag or issues if you don't have a Beast computer, this is something that I honestly don't know. Now going back to this particular game, Space Pirates, uh, you can choose to either have two guns in your hands, one gun and one shield, or actually two shields. Now I've never tried two shields, but that's something that I probably would try out if I came a little bit further into this game, just to have it at the very moment when these orbs fires back at you. Then you can of course quickly switch back to your guns again. The shields also have a pushback that I haven't really tried out that much. I know it has a bit of a cooldown, and I hope that I will be able to show you that in an upcoming video ever so soon. Now when it comes to the gun or guns, if you choose two of them, you can actually choose between three different fire modes, unless I'm remembering this wrong, I, I hope I don't. And the three modes is either a single fire, uh, a three bullet burst fire, or three uh, projectile burst fire, or fully automatic. Now initially I thought of course the fully automatic would be the best choice, and perhaps it is, I guess it's a matter of taste, but I found that after trying the one shot fire mode, I enjoyed that the most. And I think that is partly because you don't have the slow projectiles that you have with the other two modes, and also because you have these two laser sights that helps you know where you're putting your aim. After playing the game for a while, I actually decided to try it out without using the shield, because in many situations, it's not all that hard to dodge incoming fire by just moving away. The problem is of course when they're shooting from too many different directions at the same time. Now with the way you have to move physically when you're playing HTC Vive, don't be surprised if you end up in a lot of fun or crazy situations, or even if, you know, a little accident might happen. I wouldn't be surprised if people had already broken things while playing this game, such as, you know, computers, furniture, or monitors, and even arms and legs for that matter. You also probably want to make sure that you don't accidentally bump into people that don't know what you're doing, and you also probably want to make sure that nobody comes around trolling you or messing with you when you're in the middle of an intense game. Luckily, of course, Arendt, my friend who is playing here, can always trust me. I get so choked up. Get <laughs> shit. Oh, shit, man. I have to, do <laughs> I have to dodge it. But I get, I get, yeah, I get it. I got it. Wah! Hi. Ah, fuck you. I got three shots there now. <laughs> So yeah, once you've taken three hits, you are dead, and the game is over. At least that's how it works in this particular game. But there are plenty of other virtual reality games out there than the one that you're watching here. 
and I'm going to upload uh, several others shortly. But the reason why I believe this was one of my favorites was that it was quite easy to get into and obviously I haven't been able to try HTC Vive even nearly as much as I would like to. Luckily for me though, my buddy Arendt has a five weeks vacation and even though we have plans on doing a lot more than just playing video games, at least he doesn't have any major traveling plans. Now for the very end of this video I'm going to show you the last part of my so far best round playing Space Pirates and I'm not going to blame either beer or whiskey for my poor result. Uh, anyway, I really hope you enjoyed the video and I want to thank you all for watching. So I thought it hit me with the last one. <laughs> I survived it. Eight hundred. Ten thousand four hundred. Now, now it becomes hard. Fourteen.